Hi guys, I have uh, a domain called learninmylab.com and it is currently mapped to one of the tenant in Microsoft Azure portal and I would like to take it out this domain. Okay, I want to remove this domain and I want to do, get back the status. So how can I do that? That's a question that's all about the small video uh, we will be doing. Say, let's say if I just go to portal dot microsoft.com and then go to azure active directory and then go to custom domain names and you could see here uh, my map domain which is verified and which also set as a primary i would like to delete this uh, domain so i'm not getting here a direct delete button because the few of the user accounts or the groups that are already mapping either read len in my lab.com as a domain name let's see if I want to know more information what is currently in here used I could click on here and you see here I have all of them are the user objects not the group app group object so let's see if I also have a group object it will be showing here so all of these to be deleted then only it can allow you to you know delete from here okay so i could do it actually uh, by using some kind of you know powershell commands so that uh, i can make this job as easy let's try to open powershell and execute the things that we wanted to do it so in my case i'm just opening powershell so running as the admin and once it is ready in case if you do not install a module called ms online you might have to install as like this and then you also have to once it is installed uh, you can put your credentials to connect to microsoft as your portal so in my case i'm just uh, choosing here all which is this a to trust that to get it uh, installed from an untrusted one and you can see here it is actually installed with 57 and there's a latest update of 66 i could you know use as a slash force to uh, add this parameter so that i can install but you know 57 also works fine for me so i can work on it now there's a credential to be you know stored so i'm just trying to store my credentials in this case so it is actually storing under dollar ms uh msol credit my user account and password then i could you know use it for example i can say, simply say connect to microsoft identity server which is azure ad in this case and then i can simply connect once again or i could you know use the command to connect by using the credentials now it's connected to that uh, portal now all i have to do is i have to know the status uh, this specific domain got also enabled with Azure AD Connect synchronization got enabled and for some reason I wanted to take it out this domain right meaning I do not want the sync also to be no work so what I can do is actually I can get a command line to know the sync status so this is get a command which is gonna get the synchronization whether it is enabled or not so in this case it is saying as a true that's why you could also see here sync status is you know enabled true or which is not very really enabled status so what i'm going to do is i will set it to false so for that i need to use the set command and then uh, i can choose as yes that's it it's going to set it to false and i can one more time run the same command to you know see the status so earlier it was true now it is showing as a false because the directly synchronization has completely in disabled state now what else i have to do is i have to uh, come back here and delete my domain name right so in my case i have here custom domain so i need to take out this domain name back by deleting these six different reference account so i have a possible option so let's say i can click here one by one for example this account on print which is pointing for m at the rate len my lab.com so i can choose here come back here and set to some other domain name or maybe let's say my actual domain name if you see here 
this is a tenant name right I could actually configure all of these accounts with that tenant name that would make me to you know uh, remove manually but these are the manual options what I'm referring here okay if I just choose like this now earlier if you remember it was actually showing as on-prem also right if I just uh, change this name back and if I just come back here to instead of the six actually it becomes as a five now because we have changed that user so you see it's gone like that I can either change everything or let's say I don't want to do that I want to delete it so you could do that also by forcefully so you also have the forceful option to delete so for that for example MJ account how can I do the forceful I can simply come back here and say remove msol user user principal name mj slash force so this is gonna remove this user account so you see if i just refresh this page or maybe like this it's gone okay let me go back to users active directory users so you see here mj is gone no more right and if i just go back here one more time for the custom domains and try to remove this time only four right let's say there's another group also like here we have a test group right so we wanted to delete this group also what we will be doing is actually we will be using the group id in this case this is a group id you just have to you know pull the group id and then you need to you know, use a command called remove group that's the msol group object id is this so that would actually remove the group also so this way you could actually remove the groups also in case if you have any of the groups. so in my case this is a group which i have deleted 52 ending with object id right 52 and starting with the ba0f uh, ba0f right so if i just you know refresh this group here to you know find out any of the groups that exist really it doesn't because we removed it okay if i just you know search with the test group name it's not there this is a different group so these way this way you can you know actually execute it right so let me execute other commands uh, clearly to remove other groups that i have so in my case mj is not there i've just you know made a script to automatically remove all the accounts that are mapped to this domain and if i just go back here for domain active directory domain controller and try to remove it custom domain now this time it should actually remove this four objects also should go on by this time it's still showing but it's not a replicate or something like that but it will go because we have executed for example how we have executed this used record so it might go in a minute or so yeah you see here it's gone and now if i just come back here one more time and say here there's nothing is in use but it is set to yes as a primary domain meaning any user icon that you're going to create will be created with username at len in my laptop i don't want to do that i wanted to set other one as a primary otherwise you know when you set it as a primary you cannot delete this domain because it is set to primary now i have two options i can either make primary or i can delete it so i can use any of this option so in my case i'm gonna delete this so now it's gonna verify hey do you have any users groups and applications so you can simply delete it if you do not have and you're sure that you know you don't want to use it then delete it and the domain is ready for reuse for your purpose this is how you can simply remove any of the domain that is mapped for your tenant i hope this short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this